Hello and welcome to Maths by SAS. This is my first lesson of B3, chapter number 1, exercise 1e, that is about the graphs of quadratic functions. This lesson is equally important for D2, D3 students and the students who are going to appear in their O-level examination. Students, in this class, we will be learning how to sketch the graph of the equation of the form y equals to x minus h into x minus k or y equals to minus x minus h into x minus k. We can see that under this condition the equations can be easily factorized by hit and trial method or midterm breakage method. Before going to the lesson there are some key terms that we have to understand that what is the quadratic equation quadratic equation is an equation in which the maximum part of the variable is 2. If we uh, recall the graph of the linear equations, graphs of the linear equations were the state lines, okay? And uh, when we talk about the graph of the quadratic equation, it's a U-shaped curve and either it can have the opening upwards or downwards. What will tell us the quadratic equation and the graph of the quadratic equation will have the opening upward or downward that will depend upon the sign of the coefficient of the square term if the coefficient and the sign of the square term is positive then the curve will have the opening upward and if the sign or the coefficient of the x square is negative then the curve will have the opening downward other name for the quadratic curve is parabola Coming to the sketch, you can see that here I've drawn the general sketch of the quadratic equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. If you observe this sketch carefully, you can see that this uh, graph is opening upward. What is and what will be telling us that the graph will have the opening upward? We have to observe the coefficient and sign of the square term here. Uh, the coefficient of the square term is positive that's why it's having opening upward now observe the curve is cutting at two points on x-axis and they're called the x-intercepts and the curve is meeting and cutting uh, y-axis it's called the y-intercept and then the curve uh, is coming downward and it's taking the minimum value and then it again starts rising up so uh, it uh, requires a minimum point as well so for the sketching of any parabolic curve or quadratic graph we need at least how many points x intercept two points and then y intercepts this is the third point and then equation of line of symmetry and the minimum turning point Okay, I hope uh, through this sketch you are clear that how to sketch the graph of the parabolic curve or the quadratic equation. Here I am going to explain the procedure in six easy steps to solve any problem. Step one is that observe the coefficient of the square term, whether it is positive or negative and decide the graph open upward or downward. I hope step one is clear to all of my students. Then the second step is from the given equation obtain x intercepts of the equation and recall that how to obtain x intercepts we have to put y equals to zero in the given equation. Then what we have to do in step three we have to obtain y intercept of the equation and for y intercept what we have to do we have to put x is equal to zero in the given equation. Step 4. Determine the line of symmetry of the curve and how to find and how to decide the line of symmetry of the curve. Line of symmetry is a halfway between x-intercepts or in easy words what we can do is that whatever x-intercepts we are getting we have to add them up and divide them by 2. Replace the value of x obtained by line of symmetry in the given equation to get value of y and that value of y or that point will be minimum or maximum point and then in the last what we have to do we have to sketch the curve by marking x intercepts y intercepts line of symmetry and minimum turning point i hope the sketching of the graph 
of the form y equals to x minus h into x minus k or y equals to minus x minus h x minus k is clear to you before going to the exercise I advise it to my students to watch and understand these six steps carefully to get the better understanding of exercise for next difficulty level please catch me in the next class watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much